Yo, do not attempt to adjust your dial. Bum 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 bum. It's your boy Big Vern. This is App Stupid, the fastest growing sports and entertaining show on these YouTube streets. You're welcome. Holla. What up, what up? You know how we do. Just getting busy on a frigid Tuesday here in the Midwest. We talk some Patriots, how the New England tightwads, uh, Drake Mayo, mayonnaise, he somehow got himself concussed in the second quarter <laughs> to get out of playing the Jets. And then Jacoby Bissett comes in and saves the day. They play sound football and they defeat Aaron Rodgers and the god awful Jets. So do with that what you will. So we're going to go ahead and move from the toilet bowl of the AFC to the NFC North and talking about the Green Bay Packers. Now, Jordan Love, he left with a uh, strained groin and then Malik came in. And I think, and this is just me, that Malik Willis, I think him taking a bunch of snaps with the starters and them going forward, I think you may have a quarterback controversy on your hand. I think you may have a quarterback controversy on your hand because even though he was in and he only had six reps to his skill set, I think Malik Willis, his skill set is somewhere around 20 to 25 throws. That's where they keep Jordan Love at. That's where that's how many throws that they keep Jordan love at is 20 to 25 throws in his skill set and they play very conservative football they don't gamble a lot they play in between the lines and that is what the Packers need a model of consistency and if he's able to establish himself on that stage when the pressure built in Jacksonville and they did not crumble and fall you gotta respect that because that kid was four or five for 56 yards and a touchdown. He pulled it down, called his number four times, and had 23 yards. Again, I'm not sitting here saying that he's better than Jordan Love. What I am sitting here saying is why Jordan Love is hurt. And this kid Willis seems to come on strong. You could be looking at a quarterback controversy. And I'm not going to lie to you, when Jordan Love was holding out for this big contract, I felt like he was feeling himself. Because prior to last year, he only played three NFL snaps. So the, the Green Bay Packers didn't know what they had when Aaron Rodgers left. And he also took Lazard, the number one option at wide receiver. And I said, Matt LaFleur, he was probably my coach of the year because he had to coach them up to get to the playoffs. And then they went into Dallas and beat Dallas. And it wasn't because everybody knew Jordan Love was some hell of a quarterback. You all had him on the shelf so long because Aaron Rodgers would not leave. You all would not make him leave. And so you saw Jordan Love have a great year outside of Lamar Jackson going Superman Dak Prescott had a very good year I kept telling everybody I think Jordan Love is probably one of the best stories in the NFL right now nobody's even covering but again you all won't give me my credit so why am I going to continue to beat that beat that horse give me a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show this is big burn drop the spot burger king bk have it your way because you rule order online download the app or visit the good folks at your local burger king on uh, if you have the app they've got the limited time only the cheesy tots the things and rings and your way meal you can go ahead and combine anything from your Whopper Jr. to your four-piece nugget, value fries, and cola. You can customize that order. You can do that all through the app. BK, have it your way, because you rule. Yeah, shout out to Burger King. Get it for your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. BK, have it your way, because you rule. Break that up. <laughs> don't get it for breakfast lunch and dinner all in one day that's just god no uh, uh not doing that so looking at the stats for the green bay packers really not a 
one thing jumps out on the page at you. I think the third down conversion was god awful. Uh, they were put behind the eight ball 11 times to kind of convert to that first down. They only were, they only did like they were only successful three times. That that's atrocious. Then you had the interception from Jordan Love um, early on in the game before he left. Uh, with his injury it wasn't much better in jacksonville site i think at home the jacksonville jaguars having eight penalties for 59 yards that is that's awful and when you're a football team that's struggling and you're trying to find your way you can't have meaningless and stupid ass penalties you had trevor lawrence fumbling out there trying to i don't know what that play was where he was clearly down just take the sack him trying to stretch out for some odd reason, and then the ball comes loose. I mean, come on, man. And then he's throwing interceptions as well. It just was it was a bad outing. It was a bad outing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. But, again, every outing they have is horrible. <laughs> every outing they have is horrible. Give me a rap album and then we'll go through the play by play. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot. Dun, 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 it's your boy Big Vern coming to you with another rap album. Joel Ortiz and the Heat Makers War with all respect in stores now. Get it where you legally consume music, whether it be Apple Music, Google Play, or Spotify. My personal favorites on the track Fortune 500 with Bill Collins, Reaper Man. So Laws featuring Angel Hill and War with Styles P and Poet Ali. Joel Ortiz in stores now. Shout out to Joel Ortiz and War. Make sure you go get it. It's a great album. If you're into lyrics and witticism in your pen game, shout out to them. So when we go back and look at this game with Jacksonville and Green Bay, the first quarter, nothing really happened. Nothing happened. They were filling each other out. This thing pretty much didn't get going until quarter number two. And Josh Jacobs, he gets that, that three-yard touchdown run. McManus, he's solid. He's going to go ahead and knock that down anytime you put him behind center. The game is now 7 nothing. Then McManus again. They're driving. They can't go ahead and cash in. And within the red zone, so now McManus is called out for his services again. 30 yard, 31 yard field goal. This thing is 10 to 7. Trevor Lawrence, he's got a six yard touchdown run. That makes this game 10 to 6. And then Cam Little, he kicks the extra point. This thing is 10 7. 54 seconds left to play. McManus again cashes in 38 yards for the field goal putting up the pack 13 to 7. not to be outdone trevor lawrence is driving he gets cam little in field goal range to knock down a 39 yard field goal with three seconds left this game is 10 to 13 at the half this is a winnable game this is a winnable game brandon thomas jr he gets a 14 yard pass from trevor lawrence at the five minute and ten uh with five minutes ten second mark in the third quarter that's gonna put jacksonville up 13 to 7. but then josh jacobs i i don't think people was giving him enough love or enough respect or credit this dude wheels off a 38 yard run and if you watch the game it seemed like jacksonville had no answers for him he would find a gap or he would find a hole where he could just go ahead and plant his foot and get downfield. And it just seemed like he was playing on a different level against them. And so Green Bay, as a result of that, Josh Jacobs, 38 yard run. Now it's 20 to 17 headed into the fourth quarter. Again, this is still a winnable game. Enter Malik Willis. Dun, 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 dun. He hit Tucker Craft for a three-yard pass. This thing is now 27 to 17. Trevor Lawrence tried to answer back, leading the Jacksonville Jaguars down the field. He was unsuccessful. Now they have to take a 47-yard field goal. Cam Little says, no problem. I can do it. Five minutes and 36 seconds left to play. Now the tension is building because at this point, it's 27 to 20. 
Evan Ingram, 14-yard pass from Trevor Lawrence, and now this thing is 27-27 to with a minute and 48 seconds left. A minute and 48 seconds left. And keep in mind why I said Malik Willis, you may have a quarterback controversy on your hands. You're on the road in hostile territory. This game is tied up. You only have a minute and 48 seconds to work. You're the backup. He leads the Green Bay Packers right downfield. And Jacksonville was out of timeouts. They could not stop the clock. And he set up Brandon McManus to knock it in field goal from 24 yards out. That's what made this thing 30 to 27. So that's why I said you may have a quarterback controversy on your hand because Willis Malik proved that he can play. And as he goes on, because when he threw that touchdown, there was nobody around number 85. It was a fake right when they try to get into the goal line. And then he sees my man. He throws that. I mean, it was like he walked in. There was nobody literally around him. So, again, that's why I said you may have a quarterback controversy because if Willis turns out to have a great upside, what are you going to do with Jordan Love when he wants to come back? Yep. Cheeseheads, let me know. How do you feel? Is Malik Willis, is he the newest, hottest, latest thing? Or do you still want Jordan Love? This is Big 